Okay, welcome to Trades Tutors video on triangles, the basics. This is part of our Trades Math series where there'll be a number of videos going through Trades Math and uh, this one will be on triangles. So first place we're going to start is, is the parts of a triangle. Um, how we name them becomes important later on when the, the relationship between the three sides. And the thing to note on this drawing and on all the drawings we're going to do is it's a right triangle, which means one of the angles is 90 degrees. The other two angles also add up to 90 degrees and the three of them together add up to 180. So what we first have to start with though is what we call the identified angle. And you can see there that it's identified by the little circle in the corner showing you this is our starting point. Now, if we go from that starting point and we go straight across the triangle, or we could say straight to the opposite side, we get what is called the, there you got it, the opposite side. If we go to the adjacent of the angle, we get the adjacent side. And the third side is called the hypotenuse. And it is the longest of the three sides. So there's a definite relationship between the three sides depending on what the identified angle is. Now, our first basic theory is called the Pythagoras Theorem. And this is a relationship between the three sides. Now, we're not going to call them opposite adjacent hypotenuse. For now, we're just going to go with A, B, and C. And on any right triangle, there's a definite relationship between the three of them. And that relationship is known as the Pythagoras Theorem. It is a squared plus b squared is c squared. And this works for any right triangle. As long as you have two of the sides, you can figure out the third side. Now, generally, we're trying to figure out the hypotenuse for our purposes in the piping trades, maybe in other trades as well. And this might be the formula, the version of the formula we work with more often. c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Okay, So that's one. That's a generalization to all right triangles. Now we're going to come to a specific right triangle where it's a 45 degree. And what we have is one angle that's 45 and the other angle that's 45. They're the two same angles. The two of them together add to 90. So in this case it would make sense that A is equal to B. The sides are the same. The angles are the same, therefore the sides will be the same. Now once again, it's generally C that we're trying to find, which is the hypotenuse and the longest side, and C is going to be 1.414 times bigger than A. Then it would also stand to reason that C could also be 1.414 times bigger than B, as A is equal to B. So the key number here is 1.414. And if this looks familiar to you and you're saying, well, wait a minute, what about trigonometry? Well, that number is from trigonometry. And we're going to go through another video later talking about trigonometry. But for right now, this is the only number we need to remember in this specific scenario. So that's your 45 degree right triangle. Now, the second version, the second specific example, is a 22 and a half degree right triangle. And now I'm going to go back to the names of the original names. So we see the 22 and a half degree angle down there. So A becomes the opposite, B becomes the adjacent, and C becomes the hypotenuse. There is a definite relationship between the three. And once again, trigonometry will give us these numbers. But for the shortcut method, this one specific case, these are the numbers. So what we're saying is that the hypotenuse is 2.61 times bigger than the opposite. And the adjacent is 2.41 times bigger than the opposite. Once again, those numbers 2.61 and 2.41 come from trigonometry. All right, so there you have it. That's three different 
you got the Pythagoras theorem, you have a 45 and a 22. That's it. And we'll do another video that's going to show you some examples, but for right now, that is it.